Tonight on Adjuster TV News, if you love gadgets, we'll show you a new robotic tool for inspecting crawl spaces and even roofs. The National Association of Independent Insurance Adjusters has a national conference coming up. The Doan Group, a national appraisal and adjusting firm, is celebrating 40 years and is looking for heavy equipment and property adjusters. Adjuster TV Plus is running a new live series as well as new scoping ride-along videos. Pilot Catastrophe Services is actively looking for TWIA adjusters and has a new app for managing your licenses certifications and trainings. And learn about the recent severe weather and wildfires, as well as what to expect in the coming weeks. But first, here's your NACA Minute. If you watch Adjuster TV News, you know that the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters has been serving the independent adjusting community for several decades and hosts a unique convention every year in Las Vegas where you can network with adjusters and industry players and interview face-to-face -face with dozens of IA firms. Adjusters often leave the convention with claims in hand, and this is a big deal. Early bird pricing is in effect, so if you register for the January convention before August 31st, it's gonna cost you less than half the price than if you just showed up at the convention and paid there. Time is running out to save a major chunk on the admission to this critical convention. We've been attending this convention for several years now, and we can't say it enough. The more you network, the more opportunities will find their way to you. It's hard to do better than being a member of this organization and attending this convention to create new relationships and strengthen existing ones. As always, head on over to adjustertv.com slash NACA and hit the join button right now. This is Matt and I'm Max and we're shooting Adjuster TV News at Veteran Adjusting School in Sedona, Arizona. Coming up, the IA firm The Dome Group is looking for new adjusters. feel like you've been thrown to the wolves by the IA firms you work for, like you're just a number on a roster? Wouldn't it be nice to work with a firm who's big enough to get plenty of work, but still small enough to know you by your first name? Then let me tell you about my friends at the Oklahoma-based IA firm, Pacesetter Claim Service. Founded in 1997, the thing that sets Pacesetter apart is their relentless pursuit of excellence. They hold themselves and their team of adjusters to a higher standard of quality. And now with their advanced all-in-one claims platform called Evo, You'll get a real-time Uber-style map and communication link to the insured, automatic messages sent to customers throughout the process, file review automation, and a fast, accurate scope with Paysetter's partnership with Hover. Hover is integrated directly into Evo, making for a smooth and seamless field scoping experience for you as the adjuster. Technology is moving faster than ever and Paysetter is right there at the cutting edge. And Paysetter is bringing training to a city near you. Check out their summer tour dates at adjustertv.com slash Paysetter. This is Adjuster TV. The auto and property appraisal firm, The Doan Group, is celebrating 40 years of growth, success, and being a trusted provider of claim appraising services to the auto and property insurance industries. Founded in 1981 in Buffalo, New York, Doan provides a variety of appraisal services, including auto and light trucks, motorcycles, specialty claims, and property claims. Here's Vice President Amanda Hughes with more. My name is Amanda Hughes and I am the Vice President of Corporate Services for the Doan Group and we are celebrating our 40th year in business and the Doan Group is an auto and damage um, or auto and uh, property damage appraisal company uh, located just outside of Atlanta, Georgia, but we do have uh, nationwide coverage. So we have um, regional offices who handle, they're kind of the boots on the ground for that. Our main focus um, has been um, primarily is um, auto and heavy equipment um, damage appraisals. So we write estimates for insurance companies when vehicles are damaged. And we've also, um, we have a great property division. And so we are, we do have a team of adjusters who are able to uh, just a claim and write an estimate of damages for that as well. Our team of adjusters have the capability to handle daily as well as catastrophe claims, so we are in that space. Um, as always, the Doan Group is, is looking for qualified uh, auto and heavy equipment damage appraisers as well as property adjusters um, across the country. Um, we always have a need to, um, to bolster our, our current vendor list uh, with those experienced appraisers. We like to see appraisers who have at least two years um, of field work and you know, adjusters usually three to five. 
and just folks who are efficient in writing in CCC1 for the auto adjust right for heavy equipment and exact make for those property claims. We are so excited about this, this 40th anniversary, um, and we are having a party uh, in, uh, at the end of July, and we have our, uh, the parent company folks coming out, as well as um, our franchise owners coming and just having a, a party. We're going to invite some of our, our local clients to, to come celebrate with us as well. For anyone who is interested in coming on and working with the Doan Group as an appraiser or an adjuster, you can send your resume to us via email, and you can just send it over to recruiting at Doan.com. Headquartered in Covington, Georgia, the company has regional offices throughout the U.S. to provide its customers and their clients with a reliable and efficient national coverage network. For more information about the Doan Group and its services, please visit Doan.com or contact them at info at Doan.com. Up next, there's a big claims industry conference coming up in September. Stay tuned for dates and details. Jerry Insured's garage is destroyed in a covered fire. The coverage limit for this building is $20,000 for outbuildings. You write an estimate to remove the debris and replace the garage for $30,000. The actual cash value payment is $19,000 and assume that it's a replacement cost structure. The deductible is $2,000. Can you absorb the deductible in this scenario? And if so, how would you do it? Assume that there are no other additional coverages like 5% additional allowance for debris removal. Stick around until later in the show for the answer. These days, there are a growing number of remote work opportunities for independent adjusters. With Scoper Writer programs popping up all over the place, you can do photo and scope in the field or you can just sit at home in your pajajays and write the estimates on what the scoper got when they were out in the field. And it doesn't matter where you live, as long as you have the internet, you can write claims as a desk adjuster, but you can't get that sweet gig without being licensed. So if you live in Nebraska, which doesn't require an adjuster to be licensed, you still have to have a New York license to write claims somebody scoped in New York, makes sense? Of all the credentials you need as an adjuster, there really is none more important than your adjuster license, especially your first one. You're gonna need it to do just about everything else, including some adjuster schools even require you to have one before they'll let you enroll. So you need Adjuster Pro. Adjuster Pro provides a comprehensive and easy to use way to get and maintain your adjuster licenses. Most importantly, Adjuster Pro was founded by independent adjusters and the team at Adjuster Pro is dedicated to helping you thrive as an adjuster with resources for every licensing state, including dead simple CE packages. Adjuster Pro is the gold standard for adjuster licensing. You'll find everything you need to get licensed in one place. Go to adjustertv.com slash adjuster pro right now. The National Association of Independent Adjusters, or NAIIA, is holding their annual national conference September 13th through 16th, 2021 at the Weston Hilton Head Island Resort and Spa. The National Association of Independent Insurance Adjusters is an association of vetted independently owned property and casualty claims adjusting companies located throughout the United States. NAIIA members can participate in educational training, which includes their own appraiser and umpire certification program, and attend classes at their annual and regional meetings. The organization provides member instructors for the Claims and Litigation Management CLM Claims College. Member benefits include being listed in the well-recognized NAIIA Blue Book, which is mailed out to over 3,000 insurers each year and is available on their website. Also, through the website, insurers can assign claims to members. Members receive great rates on health insurance and benefits, as well as reduced rates for errors and omissions and liability insurance coverage through the claims professional liability insurance company, CLPLIC. The NAIIA National Conference is a great way to meet and collaborate with other NAIIA members nationally and regionally. Some of the educational sessions at this year's conference include Pete Smith, motivational speaker, coach, and author of Dare to Matter. Bernie Tobin from All American Property Consultants will be speaking on mapping out strategic growth plans for your business and ways to effectively measure the success. The National Advisory Committee Symposium, a panel of highly experienced insurance company claims representatives who work for some major insurance companies, will answer questions on various topics important to independent adjusters and their businesses. And Kerry Bond, head of US Claims for Lloyds of London, will speak on the impact of COVID-19 and ways to move forward again. The conference is in Hilton Head, South Carolina, September 13th through 16th, 2021. Head over to NAIIA.com for more information and to sign up for this conference. 
Up next, Pilot's new app and opportunities for work. You know, facing a lawsuit can be a terrifying and stressful experience, jeopardizing your years of hard work and success. If you don't have adequate insurance coverage as an adjuster, you're putting yourself at great financial risk. If you make your living from handling claims as an independent adjuster, then you must get errors and emissions and general liability insurance coverage. It doesn't matter if you're a 1099 or a W-2 or you work carrier direct, Protect yourself with professional liability insurance from Kaplik. To find out more and to download the insurance for adjusters free guide, head on over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV. That's cplic.net slash adjuster TV. With the new MyPilot app, you can learn about job opportunities, update your account information, view your licenses on file, and review all communications Pilot has sent you. In addition, Pilot is adding functions to the app every single month. Here's Pilot Deployment Manager Whitney Breland with more about the My Pilot app as well as information about current opportunities with Pilot. You have the ability to review your deployment confirmations. You have the ability to upload any licenses that maybe we don't have record of. Um, to view your, your badge photo and update that from there. It's really just um, the, the pilot portal on the go. And it's going to be a lot easier to be able to see any information or updates other than deployments as far as training classes. And then there's lots more exciting things coming for training. You'll be able to, um, to log in once you to arrive to training on site so that we could track that. Um, it's, gonna, it's really exciting. I'm super excited about it. Uh, I think that adjusters are going to like it a lot better than having to go into the portal from a cell phone or from a computer. In the future, it'll be helpful with deployments as they would be able to get, anybody with a cell phone would be able to get a notification instead of a text message. We are actively searching for adjusters to work on the Tweet account and as a claims examiners and field adjusters and um, adjusters for all other clients, of course. You can go to the pilot website at pilotcat.com to apply, or you can call one of the recruiters on the GoPilot line, and that number is 800-958-5370. For more information and to download and install the My Pilot app, log into your pilot account at pilotcat.com. Not on Pilot's roster? Why not? Again, visit pilotcat.com and click on Work with Pilot to get started. Up next, Mike from Tobor Technologies visits the Adjuster TV studios and gives us the rundown on the new XBot inspection robot. Are you new to the industry and wondering how you can get started as an independent adjuster with little or no experience? I mean, how can you get any experience if you can't get any experience, right? It's a problem as old as time in any profession. While you may have heard of the IA firm and insurance recruiting specialists at the best IRS, the IRS stood for Insurance Recruiting Specialists. However, the best recently did a complete rebrand that better reflects their company goals, changing their name to the best claims solutions. Because there has been a considerable increase in task-driven solutions requested by the best claims clients, adjusters can now get their foot in the door and gain experience with the best claim solutions, the best inspect program. Not only that, but the best claims also offers continuous training to you, the adjuster, and their compliance department helps keep you current on your licenses so you'll never find yourself hitting the pause button on a deployment while you re-up your licenses. When you sign up for the best claims as roster, you'll be in contact with a dedicated recruiter who will learn more about your skills, experience, and areas of expertise. And once you're onboarded, anytime that there's an opening that fits your skill set, you'll get a call right away. At the best claims, their services are 100% completely free for candidates. Once you're on the roster, you'll have access to independent adjusting opportunities around the country so that you can select what's right for you. Get access to the totally free top five tips for preparing for a hurricane deployment video guide over to adjustertv.com slash the best claim. Watch the top five tips for preparing for a hurricane deployment for free right now by going to adjustertv.com slash the best claims.
Hey, Mike, how's it going? Matt, pleasure to meet you. Nice yeah. to be at your facility. Yeah, here. thanks, man. So listen, tell us a little bit about Tobor Technologies um, and what you guys are into. Sure. So um, I'm Mike Slowinski. I'm president and CEO of Tobor Technology. And what we make is robots for roof and crawl spaces. So you can find it at tobortechnology.com. Um, and what they are is so people don't have to go into crawl spaces and roofs. Um, they're the exact same robot. The big difference is you can put tires on it or you can put belts on it to go on roofs or crawl spaces. Uh, okay. What do they come with? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you get, you get a couple cameras. You get a wide angle camera. What that does is the wide angles, like looking out your own eyes. You get an 18 time optical zoom camera. You can see it there. And uh, you can get images that are clear 170 feet away. So wow. pretty, pretty clear yeah. images. And the resolution's 1920 by 1280, which means then you can digitally enhance them. Sure. And blow them up. Uh, it has a laser on there that can measure within a millimeter, about the thickness of a dime. What's the range on that? Uh, well, okay, so lasers are tricky. So you get about 130 feet in perfect conditions. Sure. And you get about 30 feet in bright sunlight. Okay. Yeah. So anyhow, that's just the way lasers work. But we do have a feature on it. It will measure whatever it drives. Right, right. So that's another way to accomplish it. It's as accurate as a tape measure. Yeah. So you have those features. It has an accelerometer in it, so it tells you pitch and roll. It has edge detection. That's what this is. Uh, you have a little hook and back if you ever want to pull a, a rope over the roof. Or you can pull wires through a building. Um, it has a little tow rope on it for that. It also has a locator that you can set off an alarm. If you're doing crawl spaces, you can hear where it is through the floors right. or walls. So these are some of the features that it has. Yeah, I, th I think for, for what I can see these being used for, I mean, in particular for like large loss, fire and water, where you have to get into kind of more inaccessible areas. In crawl spaces, you know, I mean, it can be filthy dirty down there. It, yeah. can, be, it can be muddy. You know, how's this thing do in, like, in mud? Like say, if, there's, if there was a lot of water down there, there might be some standing water, like big mud puddles and stuff. Yeah, that's what it's designed for, to go in these places that really you don't want to go. Yeah. And it can go over four inch pipes, uh, up to three inches of water, and uh, yeah, mud, the whole bit. So we spent a lot of time, you know, a lot of development. Um, we're not just robot guys. Um, my, my partner who has everything into this like I do, uh, he sits and does a coding, but I'll actually take these out in the field and do inspections. Yeah. So I've been in some places where I'm like, hey, we got to go and revisit this and make some changes. And we've done that over the years. So it's about 10 years of development into these. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Um, so, and as far as like the, the battery time, like how long can you run one of these before it poops out on you? Yeah, typically 50 minutes to an hour, depending mm -hmm. on how you drive it. If you sit sure. there and spin the robot around and, you know, and just doing that, it'll kill the battery faster. Yeah. Um, but you, you get all the uh, runtime that you need. Uh, recently, I was talking with a roofer and he had to take a phone call. And so um, he has a drone too, he wasn't using it. What he did was he just put the tablet down for driving it, uh, took his phone call, and it was a long phone call, it was a 20 minute phone call. He wound up getting a big job out of it. And he came back, he said, now what? And I said, you just start driving it. It's sitting there waiting on you. <laughs> so it's not something we have to get nervous or anything right. else. I normally, um, I will do an inspection on a two-story roof and sit in a living room doing it. Wow. So you can sit in the shade and everything else, you see your the screen great. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Nice, or even yeah. like a car, I'll put the window down to help with the signal, but um, it keeps you, you know, comfortable in your job. Yeah. And we do call these cobots, by the way. Okay. And the reason we call it that, because this robot's not gonna take your job. It's a tool just like anything else that you have to help you do your job. You're still the expert. Yeah. This is just keeping you safe, but allowing you to do your job and be comfortable. Sure, sure, yeah. And safety's a, a, major, a major factor. I've known a lot of adjusters over the years that have, that have been injured severely. Yeah. Falling off roofs. Um, so speaking of roofs, let's kind of talk about this one a little bit here. This is the same machine, it just has a different wheel set on it? Yeah, right? so it's got, the wheels are different, but it has the belt package, that's the key. And these are a sticky foam that helps to climb really steep surfaces. Okay, and, and you got um, some of that right there. Yeah, uh, let me show you, so that's all it is, it's a peel, peel and stick foam. Yeah. Like or a roof climbing shoe. Yeah, well, I don't use names, but... <laughs> That's why I said roof climbing shoes. <laughs> anyhow, but anyhow, it, it, it allows it to go up these real steep roofs, 
and um, you get about normally 10 to 20 roofs out of it depending how you drive it and you just when you're done you just you actually just unpeel it and you stick the new one on sure sure I noticed that it looks like there's the tread doesn't go like a tank like it's just straight across mm -hmm. is there any particular reason for this configuration of the tread? Yeah, so a lot of development into that uh, sounds kind of funny, but what happens is when it goes over a pitch or a mm -hmm. hip, that actually just forms right around it and allows a robot to flow over that pitch or hip. If you didn't have that, you would flip it. Um, so it's very critical that you have that in there. Yeah. It, it's part of our patents. We have a, a bunch of patents on this and it's part of our patents. Um, so it was really a lot of development to get it to do that. Well, let's, uh, so you've got a controller over here yeah. and you're running this off of a, a Windows tablet. It's a Windows tablet and uh, you can see it. Um, so anyhow, this has all the software that's needed. This comes with the robot. So you have two cameras right now. It's showing the wide angle camera and I can click it right there and go to the inspection camera. This is the 18 time optical zoom. I can move the cameras around Go home, look up, down, I'll put it back home again. It's got another neat feature and we had a request for, um, uh, from a pest company, they needed to look on top of footers okay. to see termite poop. I didn't know that was a big thing, but I guess that's okay. important to see there termite poop. So this camera here will telescope up and you can see over the top of a footer. It's the poop camera. It's the poop camera, there you go. <laughs> So anyhow, um, it's got all these features on it. It has your connection to the, to the uh, robot. It's got your battery life. It tells you pitch and roll. Um, it has edge detection. Right now I have it in ground mode, so it's not on roof mode. I can change that very easy. And you'll see the sonars come up, so there will be a stop sign that pops up if I hit it correct. Let me see here. Does it have a flashlight on it? it uh, like yeah, it does, so I will turn that on for you. So yeah. there's your headlight. So if you put these robots in a totally enclosed dark room, they see just like it's daylight. Okay, wow. Okay, the other tool it has, it's got a laser. So right now I'm shooting the laser at the mm -hmm. door and this reads in feet, inches. So you can take a, you can take a range measurement. That's right. Yeah, yeah so um, you know, where, where that's really gonna be used for is uh, one of the things is you have these measurement tools for checking roofs. They're not always accurate. Sure. So what it'll allow you to do is check one of those measurements. If the one's right, the rest are gonna be right. Right, right. One's wrong, you need to remeasure that roof. Yeah. Or same thing with a crawl space. Say you're under space and you see a water leak and you wanna know where it is, you can shoot to one wall and the other wall and you know exa oh, yeah. so exactly. yeah, so then you go upstairs and. That's right. Okay. Exactly yeah. where it is. So it gives you all the tools you need. There's a jobs folder. Um, so what happens is all the photos you take will go into that jobs folder. You can name them, whatever you want. Again, you can annotate right on the screen. You can say, you know, northwest side, uh, wind damage, wh whatever you'd like. And it's, it's the tools that you need. Yeah, so now I so say you can raise the camera up, but how, like, how narrow of a little spot can you get through with that? Yeah, yeah, so that's an interesting question. So I've gone into really tight spaces, and when I go into crawl space, I put the antennas down, and then what'll happen is this is about eight inches high, um, but I have been in places where I've had to drop the camera down. Here we go right here. So what I, I had the mass mode on, so I'm going to drop that down. I'm going to put in the tilt mode, and I'll drop that down. There okay, you go. Yeah, there you go. So I can shoot right under a gap. Sure. And, you know, I've had, like, the venting down there, the soft venting that I've had to push under and then come up the other side. So it's below seven inches. What are these? So those are, those are kind of special. Those are magnetic treads. So they no will kidding. allow you to go on a metal roof that is a 12 plus pitch. Okay, yeah. And they have foam on them, which so the roofs won't get scratched or dented. Yep, there you go. So yeah, so it protects the surface of the roof and has a, enough pulling power to where it'll, this thing isn't going anywhere. Exactly. Yeah, because I, I mean, I, I know for me, I mean, you, 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 depending on where you are in the, are in the country, um, there can be a lot of metal roofs. Right. And personally, I'm not getting on anything that's more than a 412. Yeah. Just because they're just too slippery. Right. Um, well, so now you got the tool to do it. Yeah, there you go. So, plus, you know, if you got like a seven or eight or a nine and you need to see that back, uh, that back slope that you can't see because there's tr trees and everything, you just you can't get far enough back, just run that over the top and 
count the number of panels that yeah. are damaged. And you can go over a pitch and a hip with this too, just yeah. like you can with the belt treads. And what you do is you get the magnetic treads, these just come off and you put these on. So nothing special there other than the magnetic belts. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. Um, well, let's take a look at this thing in the field. Let's put it through its paces and sure. see what it can do. Everything looks good, Matt. So what we have here is this is the screen for the robot. This is all the controls. You also get the joystick. You can do the, all the controls with two. It gives you pitch and roll. Um, that's more used for roofs. You have your connection to the robot, which is 100% right now. You got the battery life of the robot. You have six speeds that you can adjust through by tapping the joystick. I can change them and go the speed I need or I can use a virtual drive that's on here, I'll change that. I can drive the robot with a virtual drive also. I prefer the joystick. You can take snapshots, so as you'll see, it'll pop up. Right now I took a snapshot, it's asking me if I want to annotate. I'm gonna say yes for this. We'll let that pop up there. And what we can do is just we can just draw on the screen and write whatever notes we'd like. Close out of that. And we're back to our screen. Uh, we can make the camera look wherever we want. And we can also do video recording. We can do a start measurement, whatever I drive, it'll measure. I'll hit stop. We can switch cameras. I just went from the inspection camera to the drive camera. Also, if we go into tools, if I go into tools, we can go into our headlight. So I can shut that off or turn it back on. Also, we can enable our laser. So right now we're measuring there. I can move it up. Now I'll just move it up a little and it's measuring to the wall and you'll see the reading right here so i'm reading at 5.61 feet we can have a job folder so what i can do is put in a person's name or a company's name everything from that point goes into that folder and then you got mode you have ground mode you got roof mode so right now we're in ground mode because we're running around on the ground so this sonar is actually shut off the one thing i did want to mention is um how to get it up to a roof Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can get a lift pole. I'll put this down here. And this comes with it. This goes up to two stories high. You just put the robot in there. And the way it works is it will cock back when you put the robot in there. So the robot's all the way back. It cocks back. You take it and you, let's see, right here. And you just telescope up to two stories high. Yeah. And well, you're pretty tall, so you're almost two stories. Yeah, so yeah. Well, those, just put it up there. Well, you know, originally we had lift poles, but the pole was six foot three. So the person trying to put it up there, I ran into a lot of shorter people. Yeah. And they couldn't get the full reach on a pole. So now we have poles that are only five foot eight. So anybody can get up. My daughter can put this up on a yeah. two story roof. She's 13 nice. years old. And then what happens is when the robot drives out, this will adjust itself to the pitch and it stays there. And then you drive it back in and it'll cock back and lock itself in. Pretty slick. Real easy to use. You put it up in 30 seconds or take it down in less. To buy your very own XBot, head on over to towbortechnology.com slash shop right now. Up next, the weather with Max Olson. Are you new to the professional claims industry? Confused about exactly how to get started as an IA? Worried that the advice you're getting on social media might not be totally accurate? Then you need to check out IA Path. IA Path helps adjusters get started in their new career in 90 days with online mentorship programs and training. If you need help getting started or making a transition as an adjuster, head over to iapath.com slash adjuster TV for a free video course showing you how to get working in the next 90 days. That's iapath.com slash adjuster TV. 
While June was not particularly active for storms, there were a few events worth noting. The action started in Montana and North Dakota on June 9th and 10th, where multiple rounds of supercells and tornadoes occurred. I was out chasing and witnessed one of the most photogenic storms I've seen in my 14 years of storm chasing. The storms moved east with time, and the following week, the Midwest was inundated with wind and hail. A storm reported south of Minneapolis dropped baseball-sized hail on June 17th, and another storm in southern Michigan dropped hail of at least tennis ball size two days later. The most significant event was an EF3 tornado that struck the southwestern suburbs of Chicago. The community of Woodridge, Illinois was especially hard hit with over 150 homes damaged or destroyed. The following day, there were over 500 reports of damaging winds in the northeastern United States. And as we get into July, the severe weather is going to start to calm down a bit. But an area of high pressure is creating a heat dome on the Pacific Northwest where record-breaking temperatures are being observed. This is also leading to catastrophic fires, one of which, the lava fire near Mount Shasta, California, is currently only at 13% containment and has burned over 30 miles of forest. Portions of Weed, California and surrounding communities have been evacuated. Finally, the tropics are starting to heat up. We've already had a few named storms, including Tropical Storm Danny, which made landfall in South Carolina last week. Tropical Storm Elsa has also just formed and is tracking towards the Caribbean. This storm may eventually become a threat to the mainland United States as we get into next week. If the storm looks like it'll reach hurricane status and make landfall in the United States, Adjust Your TV will be there reporting live. After the break, get the answer to the trivia question from the beginning of the show. As an independent adjuster, do you feel like you only have bad, expensive choices for health insurance plans? And when you have to use the insurance, you'll have to pay a lot out of pocket? Makes you wonder why you even have insurance in the first place. The stakes are high. Having no coverage puts you and your family at risk. It doesn't have to be this way. You want peace of mind with common sense health coverage you can count on that doesn't include things you don't need. You need real insurance with world-class protection from established carriers, not health sharing and not cobbled together prepaid medical. And you shouldn't have to wait for it. Get approved in days, not weeks. There is no risk and no cost to see if you qualify for these high quality plans. Not everybody will qualify, but you've got nothing to lose by getting a free consultation. Visit AdjusterTV.com slash health for more information and to apply. Okay, here's the answer to the problem from earlier. Jerry Insured's garage is destroyed in a covered fire. The coverage limit for his outbuildings is $20,000. You write an estimate to remove the debris and replace the garage for $30,000. The actual cash value payment is $19,000 and the deductible is $2,000. Can you absorb the deductible in this scenario? And if so, how would you do it? Assume that there are no other additional coverages like a 5% additional allowance for debris removal. And the answer is because the ACV amount of the claim is less than the policy limit, there's a basic sequence for figuring out coverages and how deductibles apply to them. Step one is forget about the limit and write your estimate the way it should be done in real life. Step two is to calculate the depreciation Step three is to apply the deductible to the ACV amount, which is the depreciated amount. And step four is to apply the policy limit to the claim. Think about it this way. If outbuildings have a $20,000 limit and the insured has a deductible of $2,000 and the ACV is more than the building limit, it wouldn't really be fair to say, hey, you've got a $20,000 limit. We're only gonna ever give you 18,000 bucks. Make sense? Finally tonight, we've been doing a series of live presentations over on Adjuster TV Plus with topics including how to handle reinspections, closing claims on site, and why it's better than any other method, and advanced adjuster time management. Also during these live presentations, I answer viewer questions in the chat. As you can see, we're in a new room for this episode of the news, and the reason is because we're down in Sedona, Arizona, shooting more material for Adjuster TV Plus with Guy Grand at the Venerable Veteran Adjusting School. Look for more scoping right along videos in the coming weeks. So what is Adjuster TV Plus? Adjuster TV Plus is where I put all of my advanced training videos, including ride along videos where we do complete scopes, including full explanations of everything we're doing, and detailed training videos, including things like Xactimate, how to route, schedule, and contact insureds, how to scope tile roofs, how to ID hail from an actual forensic engineer, water claims, ice dam claims, smoke claims, and so much more. There are even some storm documentaries produced by Max Olson in there where you can learn about past major hurricane and tornado chases. There's so much content in Adjuster TV Plus and new content gets added every single month. We normally have a seven day free trial, but because you're watching this, if you sign up for the yearly subscription, you can get two free months with coupon 
What the? <laughs> so we normally have a seven day free trial, which is still there, but because you're watching this, if you sign up for the yearly subscription right now, you can get two free months with the coupon code two free. Head on over to adjustertvplus.com right now and sign up to get two free months with coupon code two free. All right, that does it for us. Thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.